It's a straightforward procedure to update the InDesign document with changes made to the exported InCopy content in InCopy by an editor. I'll start by choosing File Open or clicking the Open button, then navigating to the Fly Book CC 2018 project folder. This is typically on a shared file server. And I'll open Fly Chapter 1.ind.d, the InDesign document, as I know that the editor has finished making changes and she has checked all the content back into the server. If InCopy content files have been modified in InCopy, you'll get a warning prompt telling you exactly that. In this case, there are two modified links. After you've been using an InCopy InDesign integrated workflow for a while and you're confident with what you're doing, you might just click the Update Links button. But in this tutorial, I want to work a bit more manually so that you get a deeper understanding of how the workflow brings InDesign and InCopy together. So I'll click the Don't Update Links button. Then I'll go to the Window menu, Editorial and select Assignments to show the Assignments panel. If necessary, click the Expand button to the left of the InDesign document name and also expand the assignment. You'll see that the assignment panel is almost identical to the assignments panel in InCopy. All the exported InCopy content files for this chapter are listed. And notice that the two InCopy content files that I updated in InCopy have a yellow warning icon indicating that the files in the InDesign document are now not up to date. I'll just make this panel a little bit wider. I'm going to click on this first InCopy content file that is out of date to select it. Then I could click the Update Content button at the bottom of the panel, but I'm not going to do that just yet. Instead, I'll double click the InCopy entry And that will take me to the beginning of the InCopy content file. I'll just use Command or Control and Plus on the PC to zoom in. And now I will click the Update Content button. And there it is, the change I made in InCopy in the previous sequence appearing in the updated InDesign document. Notice that the out-of-date warning for the in-copy content has disappeared. Notice also that I didn't need to check out this content from the server. All that update content has done is to pull through the changes from the server to update the InDesign document. I'll do the same for this other piece of out-of-date content. Double-click to go to the text frame, then click the Update Content button. And again, you'll see the obvious change I made in InCopy coming through in the original InDesign document. Wonderful. InCopy content files exported in the first instance from InDesign have been checked out and edits made in InCopy, where we opened an assignment, a .icma file. Those edits made in InCopy were then saved back to the shared server and what you've just seen, they were updated in the InDesign document to complete the round tripping in the workflow. Please do like the like if you like to like. There's a link to the previous sequence where I open the assignment and make edits to the InCopy content in the show more extended description below this tutorial movie. Thanks for watching.